What up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. Now, all right, brothers. Woo! Cannot wait. Football season's almost here. A couple things I want to talk about. Look, we all know how haters going to hate how it happens. You know how fans do it. It's you win the game, the fans are... Oh my God, look how great we look. The you lose, the fans are like, eh, it's only preseason, not a big deal. The haters, if your team wins, your haters are like, eh, it's fucking preseason, who gives a fuck, your team's garbage. If you fucking lose, ha <laughs> ha, your team sucks, your team's garbage, you can't even win a fucking preseason game. So, like I said, Haters gonna hate, the fans, they gonna love. So, got the team back no matter what. Well, we all know the Cowboys lost to the 49ers. Um, granted, I mean, they lost the second half with the backups, backups, backups playing. Um, Bo looked pretty good. I like the way he ran a little bit. You know, he needs to be more, you know, going down south, north to south instead of east to west. Um, he needs to be in that uh, power eye formation, fucking running down the throat. That's where we're going to get him. He is modern day uh, Marion Barber. That's what he is. That's what he's brought here to do and that's what he's going to be. He's going to be that guy, you know, he need to work on his legs. He's going to build his legs even more to where you can't get him. That's what Marion Barber was and that's what we're going to have him. That's why we got him to take off those third and down, third and short situations for Zeke. Now, Zeke didn't play. Not a big deal. Don't give a shit. Because Zeke is Zeke. King Ezekiel. Feed Zeke. Whatever you want to call him. Whatever his nickname is. He didn't play. Not a big deal. Rod Smith, on the other hand, looked like he was in regular season form like he was last year. Um... Now, if Zeke goes down, we got Rod Smith who can step in and boy can run, block, and pass. Like, he can do all that shit. Like, he can do it all. Like, he's, he's legit. Um, you know, Dak had him thrown a touchdown pass, all uh, training camp, whatever. And then he throws the one to Michael. Did you see Michael Gallup turn all those burners? Did you see him turn those burners on? Now, granted, it looked like he turned those burners got turned on because the quarter just stopped. He just stopped, so Michael Gallup took off. But that was a perfect throw by Dak Prescott to Michael Gallup for the touchdown in the back of the end zone. Touchdown! Um, our defense did play pretty solid. Um, we still, those, granted, defenses are very vanilla. So I'm not looking too much into it. When we had, you know, when it was 3rd and 15, 3rd and 20, 3rd and 16, all that shit, and they're giving up first downs. You know, it's a vanilla. You know, they're very vanilla. It's not complex. You know, I'm not worried about it. But we did have two interceptions and a fumble recovery, I think. So for our first and second team defense, like we did, you know, pretty good. And Garoppolo, you know, we had a, I think we had a pick off Garoppolo. And they were going out for the touchdown. So, excuse me. So, it's whatever. I take preseason for what it is. We lost. I don't give a shit. If we would have won, I wouldn't have given a shit. Um, because it's preseason. It's whatever. But, ha, ha, ha. Just like in perfect f fashion, you know, the Eagles keep running their mouth. This goes out to every Eagles fan. You know what? Like, I, I don't want to speak on this because someone's hurt. Like, you know what? Fuck that. I like when someone gets hurt. I'm all for injury. Like, fucking go out and hurt someone. I want someone to get hurt. If one of our guys gets hurt, that sucks. Like, it really does. But you know what? Like, if we hurt their guys, good. Like, I don't give a fuck. Good. Like, this is fucking football. You go out to punish somebody. You know, running across the middle, you're going out to lay them the fuck out. And if they get hurt, you know what? They know what they signed up for. 
You don't gotta be all, oh, you shouldn't wear. Fuck that. It's fucking football. It's fucking football. You're going out to knock someone's fucking block off. So, you know what? Eagle fans, fuck Alshon Jeffrey. Fuck that punk ass bitch. You know what? He may be back. I may be eating my words. He may not be back. We don't know. Um, he had season, you know, he had uh, shoulder, shoulder surgery last year. And he hasn't practiced all training camp. Nothing. He's been on what you call pulp. Um, he's been on that for since the start of training camp. And if he's not ready by, you know, the first week of the season and he's still on uh, PUP, even if he comes back, he has to, has to miss six weeks. Now, you know what's awesome about him missing six weeks? The Giants, I mean the Giants, the Sheagles are probably going to go three and three. Maybe two and four. We don't know. But it ain't going to be a winning record. And for all you Eagle fans that are out there talking, oh, it's a big loss, it's not a big deal, we still got this guy. No, Alshon Jeffrey is your over-the-top, down-the-field threat, um, which helps sets up for the run, which the run also helps in turn sets up for the pass. And if all you're going to do is stack the box to stop the run, and you can uh, single cover um, all your other guys, not much to you. Just like with us, for the Cowboys. You saw Dak take a hit with his passing game last year when Zeke was out. Why? Because all you had to do was stack the box when we had no guys that needed double covering. So, like, all you had to do was stack against Al uh, Alfred Morris or Rod Smith and play the single man-to-man -man, and that's all you had to do. And plus, uh, our right tackle, arguably the best right tackle in the fucking game, was out majority of the season, so, and we still went fucking nine and seven, we still had a fucking winning record, so, imagine with all of our healthy guys back, what's going to happen, so, look, I feel bad, it sucks, you're the defending champ, the, the reigning champs, and your best offensive weapon is gone, it's gone, so, it's whatever, I'm excited, I can't wait. So views for the seventh side, right? That's your name, or seventh side views? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, we still got our bet, brother. We still got our bet. Remember, I mean, it's not gonna happen. Um, I mean, we're we're not gonna meet in the NFC Championship game. But like I said, our bet was if they do, whatever team pulls out the victory, the other guy got to buy the other guy a jersey. So. Um, the cap is what 150 because these jerseys are like 120 bucks, 100 or whatever. So I'm putting on a 150 cap. Um, so I'm excited, can't wait. All I know is Alshon Jeffrey is probably gonna be out for six weeks, and there goes a lot of your offense. All you gotta do is stack the box against the Eagles, stop the run, stop JHI, and we're good. We're good. You know, can you live with the down? The, the, downfield pass every once in a while and stop the run yeah i can i'll you know i'll give you the 50 60 yard pass downfield stop the run and they make you kick a field goal I'll, I'll give you that i'll give you that so i can't wait i can't fucking wait for what the week 10 or week 9 against the eagles when we play them at home and i think that's the first time we play them um and again i haven't decided but i want to go to that game i want to fucking go to that game so We'll see what happens. But that's all I got. Alshon Jeffrey is fucking probably out for six weeks. Eagles going three and three or two and four. Book it. Write it down. Take a picture. I don't give a fuck. But it's going to happen. Cowboys winning the winning the division. Don't get me started on the Giants because you know what? Apparently now Saquon Barkley is going to the Hall of Fame because he had a 30-yard run or 39-yard run against the fucking Browns. When he had four more, was it four more yard, four more uh, rushing attempts or five more rushing attempts after that, and he totaled 42 yards. So his next four yards, which means he lost yardage and gained some back. So, ha! Ah! Saquon Barkley is going to be off. Ah! But anyway, 
Anyway, I'm out. Peace.